Hello, Michael Borgelt, back once again, and wanted to review a new tool that Google Webmaster Tools released uh, about a month ago. Um, it is the Site Performance Tool. You've probably heard a lot about this in regards to Google's new release of Google Caffeine that should be probably coming out shortly. What that purpose is, is to... Google wants to have their, their results and their websites within their results per, perform and respond very quickly. Currently, uh, Bing, that's one of the things Bing is promoting, that their site, that their search engine uh, responds very quickly to search queries. Google also wants to have the same type of response, but also wants to have its websites within its search engine results respond very quickly also. One of the things Google has released in helping websites, website owners uh, accomplish increasing their website speed is a tool inside of Google Webmaster Tools and that's under labs it's under site performance and what this does is it shows you how your your your, your site performs statistically uh, over the life of the site from when they started really tracking this and this is what we see on most of all websites that we reviewed is that it starts sometime in mid to late August um, and, it, and it tracks throughout uh, January and what you can see here is it tells you on average the page pages in your site take 4.1 seconds to load uh, this was last updated for uh, SEO white hats on December 31st this is uh, slower than 65 percent of all other sites once you get to a certain percentage it will start to say this is faster than a certain number of or percent of sites but right now we're on the wrong side of, of the site being so to speak, being fast. And what you can see as you look at this chart on the left-hand side is the number of seconds it takes the site to respond and then obviously the time frame going across on the bottom. So back in somewhere mid-November, SEO White Hats was performing very poorly on average, uh, taking anywhere from 20 to 25 seconds to respond. We fixed that. It now dropped down to right, really, right between 7 to 8 seconds and it's kind of held within that where we got it all the way down to below five seconds and then it bumped back up to right around 10 uh, in mid-December and it slowly crept back down again. As you look very closely here, you can see a red dotted line. Um, and above that is what anything Google calls slow and anything else below that line is what Google considers fast. And that line, even though you can't see the number on a different graph, you can see that it's 1.5 seconds is what Google considers anything that a site responds underneath that is then considered fast a fast loading site. So once you kind of view your site and look at and see where the percent of, uh, of how quickly your site's loading or where your percent of your site is loading compared to all other sites, Google then provides you with some suggestions of things you can do to help improve your site. And these are posts that we have written on SEO White Hats. And every one of these shows certain different things that we can do as you expand them. And it shows this one says you can enable uh, gzip compression, minimize DNS lookups, or serve resources from a consistent URL. So because we're using this piece of code, it's, it's not using the same URL as seowhitehats.com. It doesn't like that. Uh, they'd want it served from the same URL. Uh, minimize DNS lookups. This one is pretty tough to, to not, we've cleaned this up pretty well. There's only three that it's uh, referencing otherwise now, and one of them is Google Analytics, Twitter, and then obviously some advertising we're doing on seowhitehats.com. The last one is gzip compression, and that's compressing this information, this HTML file, along with the Google Analytics code. To do a little bit more in depth and advanced look at Webmaster or at your site performance, there's a tool out there at what, and this is the first site that Matt Cuts came out and, and mentioned prior to, um, prior to Google releasing its site performance was this site, this webpage test.org. And what you can do is you go to the homepage and you can type in your URL and then it'll run for you know 30 seconds or so and then it'll return results. I don't necessarily believe the actual load time um, number exactly. As you can see, this is almost uh, nine seconds compared to what Google is telling us is 4.1, but maybe this is just the home page uh, sh showing results there. And then it also says a repeat, a repeat view, which loaded in a little under six seconds. One of the best things to look at here 
is this first um, waterfall view of the site. What it does is it breaks down every single connection that you make within your page. So first thing it comes in, it looks to do a DNS lookup. First, it, then it becomes the initial connection. And then there's a little lag with first time to byte. And then there's content begins to download. And now this, and this, obviously this bar up here is explaining exactly what each one of these items is. Next is loading the style sheet. Initial connection, first time to byte, to byte, content loading. Next one is first time to byte for ieonly.css. You can see as you look down this whole list of everything that is trying to load and for the page. So we have 51 different calls loading the homepage of seowhitehats.com. Every one of these items has things that can or cannot be done um, to them. As you look at uh, the performance overview, this will tell you uh, a checklist of items. So um, compressing images, we've only done, only 68% of our images have been compressed and that's not very, they gave us a, lot, a grade of D here. Um, our keep alives are good, we got an A, compressed text, so, so, a C, compressed images, we got a D, so that means we need to compress more images. Our cache statistics, horrible. We need to cache more items. Combined JS and CSS files, F on that also. And use of CDN is F also. So there's lots of things we can do to perform, to increase our performance on this site. Overall, most sites have a couple things that you can increase or perf increase performance or what we consider our best practices for website response times. Compress images and text where possible. And this is using any type of tool that can uh, compress your images to make them load faster and be more available, which or be, be quicker to load, I guess, so to speak. Um, use a, a few requests as possible, and that's where you get into combining the J, your JavaScript or CSS into one, uh, maybe possibly a, a file include, that every time you call it, um, it's making a request. So if you put that all into one file, it'll call it once, and you'll have all the JavaScript loading at one time. Very much so Google or SEO white hats could uh, benefit from this with all these different JS calls that you see uh, here. Oops. Here and here and here, all these, all of these different calls that it has. The next item that you can do is you can uh, use caching when possible. We talked about that for your pages and images. Uh, that's the that's caching is the the temporary storage of frequently asked, uh, accessed pages and images, so that uh, the instead of going back to your hard drive on your server to get the information, it's then cached. Uh, on your server and it, it can be loaded immediately instead of having to go and find the information every time. So setting up caching to be more frequent so that these images, especially if these images are never changing, set up the caching uh, date to be much, much longer. And there's a couple other things you can do is make few connections. We mentioned that quickly and then remove all bad connections. Anything that's hanging in, uh, or causing a 300 error. SEO White Hats did not have any 300 errors uh, in its results. But we do see that sometime where people are making a call to an image or to a JavaScript file that no longer exists. But overall, uh, site performance is now very important to Google as they're launching this uh, in their lab section. I think it'll definitely become more and more important and we'll learn more about how Google wants us to speed up our websites so that their users, when they come to the Google search results, the websites pop back to them and are not waiting for sites to load too long. And this is definitely a search ranking factor. So hopefully that was helpful. And please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.